Dear friends, welcome to the presentation on projections of the lines for the subject of engineering graphics. The presentation is focused on introduction and its projections of the lines and the solutions of projections of line with uh, animation. The straight line is defined as the shortest distance between two points. Uh, earlier presentation is focused on projections of the points, so the projections of the lines is an extension of the earlier discussion that is projections of the points. Similarly, the lines can be extended for the plane lamina and then subsequently it goes to development of projections of the solids. Sometimes there is a need to develop uh, a side view. Uh, for development of side view, uh, left hand side view or right hand side view, uh, another uh, plane is required other than horizontal plane as well as vertical plane. The another plane which is called as uh, axillary plane, since it is uh, perpendicular to the horizontal plane as well as vertical plane, this is called as axillary vertical plane. Also, it is known as uh, profile plane. To describe the uh, location of straight line with reference to the horizontal plane, it is defined uh, with reference to the two principal planes, such as uh, one uh, line parallel to one or both the planes, line contained by one or both the planes, line perpendicular to one plane and uh, one of the plane, line inclined to one plane and parallel to the another plane. Line inclined to both horizontal plane as well as the vertical plane. Line contained by plane perpendicular to both reference planes that is line contained by a axillary vertical plane. Uh, seventh is uh, find the true length of straight line and its inclination with reference to the planes. Find traces of a straight line. Coming to the first one that is line parallel to one or both the planes. Here yeah, the line is uh, inclined to vertical plane and parallel to the horizontal plane. This line is inclined to the horizontal plane and parallel to the vertical plane. The third one, the line is parallel to both horizontal plane as well as the vertical plane. These are the projections. First, we have to start with the true length. True length can be seen in top view and uh, can be extended to draw the front view. But here, True length can be seen in the front view. So front view is started. After that, projections are made to draw the top view. Here both uh, front view and top view is the same length because this is uh, parallel to both the horizontal plane as well as the vertical plane. Line contained by one or both the planes means uh, lying on the horizontal plane. Here the line is on the vertical plane and this line belongs to both horizontal plane as well as the vertical plane. The true length is drawn here in a horizontal plane and here the true length is drawn on vertical plane and uh, this is the true length contained by both horizontal plane as well as the vertical plane. Line perpendicular to one of the plane, this line is uh, perpendicular to horizontal plane and this line is perpendicular to the vertical plane. While seeing the front view is a true length uh, as a straight line and but the top view can be seen as a dot on the point. Top view is a point. But here the top view is a line, straight line and the front view is a point. Here the line inclined to one plane and parallel to the another. The line is inclined uh, theta degrees to the horizontal plane and parallel to the vertical plane. These are the projections. First. Uh, True length is drawn here as a front view and it is extended for the top view. Similarly, here the line inclined uh, 5 degrees to the vertical plane and parallel to the horizontal plane. First uh, top view is drawn, that is line is uh, inclined 5 degrees to the vertical plane and these are the projections to make the front view. This is a case uh, where the straight line is inclined to horizontal plane and uh, vertical plane. Now we can see here the line is uh, inclined uh, theta degrees to the horizontal plane and here the line is uh, straight line is inclined 5 degrees to the 
vertical after the projections uh, the apparent angles are different uh, this is the final line after getting the final line uh, alpha is the uh, apparent or the final angle to the horizontal plane and uh, beta is the apparent or final angle to the vertical plane it can be projected to get the final front view and top view in the, in the first step uh, it can be assumed the line is inclined to horizontal plane and parallel to the vertical plane and in the second step uh, the line is inclined to the vertical plane and parallel to the horizontal plane and these two steps can be merged together to get the final front view as well as the final top view this is the true length in the front view as this is a first angle projection first quadrant and uh, the projections are rotated here and uh, this is the true length in the top view theta is the angle to the horizontal plane and phi is the sorry phi is the angle to the vertical plane these are the projectors and rotated to get the front view final front view these are the final front view and similarly this is rotated to get the final top view and these two can be clubbed together to get the solution in a as a single drawing sometimes a straight line contained in a profile plane of the axillary vertical plane which is 90 degrees to horizontal plane as well as the vertical now you can see here the theta is the angle to horizontal plane and phi is the angle to the vertical plane now as per this geometry it can be concluded theta plus phi is equal to 90 degrees now front view is a straight vertical line and top view also straight vertical line uh, as per these uh, projections uh, to develop the traces of a line uh, if your line is parallel to both planes so there is no any traces because the trace is uh, defined as the intersection of uh, uh, extension of the line to the plane in this drawing the line is inclined to the horizontal plane that's why horizontal trace can be drawn but it's parallel to the vertical plane that's why there is no any vertical trace here the line is inclined to the vertical plane it is extended on the vertical plane then corresponding point uh, intersection point is called as vertical trace since this line is uh, parallel to the horizontal plane, there is no any horizontal trace. In both uh, parallel, no trace, and inclined to horizontal plane, horizontal trace, and inclined to the uh, vertical plane, this is the vertical trace. Parallel means no trace, and this is parallel to vertical plane, no vertical trace. Traces of your line is a per uh, perpendicular line. Uh, the projection top view projection is a point uh, this is the top view as well as the horizontal trace similarly this line which is perpendicular to the vertical plane the front view is a point and its front view also consists of vertical trace this is parallel to vertical plane that's why first one no vertical trace and second one is parallel to the horizontal plane that's why no horizontal trace if your line is uh, inclined to both the planes, uh, then uh, we can find both horizontal trace as well as the vertical trace. This is the beginning, the origin, uh, both horizontal trace and vertical trace at the same point. Coming to the solutions, the first one, the length of the top view of your line parallel to the vertical plane and inclined to the vertical inclined at 45 degrees to the horizontal plane is 50 mm one end of the line is 12 mm above the horizontal plane and 25 mm in front of the vertical plane draw the projections of the line and determine the true length see in this problem uh, the length of the top view is given as 50 mm as a 50 mm and uh, it is uh, parallel to the vertical plane and inclined to the horizontal plane a line inclined to the horizontal plane by 45 degrees and this is parallel to the vertical plane the point one point let us say a 12 mm above the horizontal plane that is h is 12 mm and 25 mm in front of the vertical plane 25 mm in front of the vertical plane that is the distance is 25 mm uh, by means of this uh, orientation it can be concluded 
the line is in the first quadrant the projections are the first angle projection front view is above xy and the top view is below xy to develop the solutions let us see the development of these projections first we had to draw a xy reference line as a dotted line uh, dot dotted line xy is a dotted line and your point is defined uh, with reference to the height as well as the distance so the top view is defined 50 that's why it is in front of the vertical plane 25 mm in front of the vertical plane with the length of uh, 50 mm this is the pink color shows the top view which is parallel to the vertical plane and this point is 12 mm above and the true length 45 degrees to the horizontal plane now this is a true length and uh, 45 degrees but we don't know the length of the true length uh, it can be found by drawing a 45 degrees line and uh, intersection of this projection of the top view both are intersecting at the point uh, b dash now a dash b dash is a uh, true length it, it is found as uh, 71 mm for the given data of uh, 25 from given data of 25 distance 12 mm height and 50 mm top view and 45 degrees thank you